The Ohio women's basketball team came to today's contest looking to pick up their first MAC win of the year, but fell just short, losing to the Kent State Golden Flashes 57-56 on an Amber Dunlap jumper with 22 seconds remaining in the ballgame. It went throughout the first half, holding a five-point lead, holding off Kent State's continued run to try and close the gap. It was rare territory for the Bobcats as they led 29-20 after Siobhan Robinson hit a putback layup with one second remaining in the half. With no scores and double figures for the Bobcats, they still had seven players who had notched a point in the contest. However, if the Bobcats had won the first half, Kent State certainly won the second. The Golden Flashes made a huge push midway through the second to close the lead to three with eight minutes remaining in the game. And those final eight minutes would prove to be stressful for Ohio fans as the lead quickly shrunk from three to two and eventually going down a one point lead with a minute 52 remaining in the second half. A couple free throws and a layup by Ashley Fowler would extend that lead back out to four before a three pointer by Rachel Mendelson would close the gap back to one, a 55-54 advantage for Ohio. And yet with 22 seconds remaining in the game, an Amber Dunlap jumper would give the Golden Flashes the 56-55 advantage and the lead as well as the win. The final score would be 57-55 as Kent State outshot Ohio in the paint 36 to 20 and also led them in points off of turnover 24 to 16. The Bobcats had two players in double figures and it was the two freshmen, Kyna Black with 14 points on five of 14 shooting and Lexi Baldwin who had 10 points on four of four shooting from the floor and two of three from the free throw line. All in all, the Bobcats shot 37.9% from the floor, 22 of 58 in field goals. Meanwhile, Kent State shot a rare 47.1% from the floor 24 on 51 shooting. Tough, tough, tough loss today um, in terms of thought we had the energy effort. We were somewhat playing us today. Uh, Kent State's a cracky, cra cra uh, scrappy team. Give credit to them for playing hard. Uh, they got down by uh, as many as 16, I believe, and they fought back. And uh, we did not respond. I thought we panicked. Uh, when, the, when the game got closer and closer, we took very bad quick shots and we didn't execute the ball and work it around. And you, you continue to keep telling them in that, but you know kids, players in the moment, they just get a little excited. The Bobcats return to action this Wednesday as they take on the Northern Illinois Huskies, still looking to pick up their first MAC win of the year. For the Bobcat Sports Showcase, I'm Tyler Austin.